Good morning team, happy Wednesday. Today we're gonna to be doing mobility and core. So you're just gonna need your body, that's it. As you hop in, let me know who, where you're tuning in from. I'm currently tuning in from Boulder, Colorado. Welcome, welcome. And we'll get started in just a few minutes here. I like to wait for some people to hop on before we get started today. But yeah, let me know where you're tuning in from. Again, I'm from Boulder, Colorado. And in case some of you guys don't know me, my name is Angela Gargano. I am a four-time American Ninja Warrior. I'm also the creator of Pull Up Revolution. So if you wanna get your pull up, that is the program to be in. And Strong Feels Good. Awesome, welcome Rocco, Washington. Amazing. So for today's workout, we're gonna be doing some mobility and core. So I'm gonna break it down in a few different ways. So we're gonna do some lower body mobility to really open up those hips. Then we're gonna work on the core. Then we're gonna do some upper body mobility, get those shoulders feeling good, and then we're gonna do some more core. <laughs> and then we're gonna stretch out. So just a few different things here today. This is gonna to be a great uh, workout today. If you've had um, if you've had a week where it's kind of you're feeling kind of tired and stuff like that, this is gonna be the perfect workout for you because it's gonna be really activating that core and getting those muscles feeling good, especially if you've been sitting and working um, all week, so getting all tight and stuff like that. Welcome, welcome. Ah, so great to have so many in here from Vegas and Hawaii. Very, very cool. I also like to have an intention and set a theme for each workout. And today's intention and theme is I want to talk about the I'll be happy when syndrome. And some of you on here might have heard me talk about this before, right? It's the end of the year and it's the time for us to really reevaluate where we were at the beginning of the year and where we are now, right? to determine if you, we got closer to our goals, right? And it's also a great time to evaluate what do we want our goals for next year to be. The issue is here, just like anything, like with your pull up too, right? You have the beginning and you have your end point, right? These two pieces right here, right? And you think that when you get to this end point here, that that is when everything's gonna change and everything's gonna be happy and it's great. And it's great to have a goal to push from. But what I want to challenge you with is to have that goal, beginning and end, right? But I want you to enjoy the journey and enjoy the process in between. And I think that's super, super important. Okay, so I want you to think about those things. I want you to think about a couple different things uh, with goal setting as well, which me and my friend actually did the other day. I want you to think about where are you now? Where do you want to be? How can you get there? Those three things. So start to think about those things. We'll go through it as we're doing the workout as well. And I know um, some of you might be like, oh, let's just get working out already. But this stuff's important. Mindset stuff is important. The workout is one aspect of it. The workout's the easy part. It's the mindset stuff that we need to, to get a little better with. So, all right, one more minute here and then we're gonna get started. Again, I'd like to allow some people to hop in, especially because we do this in the morning. It's 6 a.m. here in Boulder, Colorado. I know for some people on here there, it's 5 a.m. Um, so, awesome. All right, so let's get started here at the end of the minute. I'm actually gonna turn the comments off so that you can um, so that you can enjoy and actually see everything, but I'll turn them on in between to check in and how everyone's doing. Okay, so we're gonna start with warming up those legs. Today we're actually gonna start on our back. Okay, so leg completely flat. I'm actually gonna take these socks off because someone's gonna have a comment. The bottoms are definitely dirty. <laughs> All right, let's lay on back. All right, we're gonna take that right leg into the chest and you're just gonna hold it here. Give a nice little hug, inhale. Exhale, push a little deeper. And one more, inhale. Exhale, push a little deeper. Awesome, let's grab the back of the leg. We're gonna lift it up and down slowly. I don't want you to force it, I want you to go really slow here because it's the morning for a lot of us. Oof. And now this time when you get to the top, I want you to point and flex it. So down and up and then point and flex. Oh. All the, all the things, feeling all the things right now. Just really taking a second to breathe. And awesome, a few more seconds here, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. And now starting a little bit slower today. Bring that leg down, and let's switch to the other side. Inhale, exhale, give yourself a nice hug. Inhale. Give yourself that hug. One more inhale. Exhale, hug. Bring that leg 
up and down. Again, slow here with this motion. At the top, maybe pointing and flexing that toe. And this side is not. This side is feeling really all sorts of ways. And you might notice that, right? You might notice that one side is a little tighter than the other. It's completely normal. A few more seconds here. Two. And one. Also, if you're going to roll it around, okay, we're going to come to our hands and our toes into the plank position. And you're going to take your left leg outside your left hand. We're going to hold it there. Hold, 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 okay? I want you to drop down to the elbows if that's available to you. So you'll take them and you'll literally want to make sure you can see me hop around. <laughs> drop down to the elbows here. And you're going to hold. And if you feel comfortable, circle around to the right. Really opening up those hips. These are actually just to the left, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go both ways. So whatever way you're going, you want to switch it around to the other way. Awesome. Hop up onto your hands. Drop the back knee down, chest up tall. We're going to turn it, go into some rocks here. So take this front foot, and instead of having it facing forward, turn it out slightly, and just rock forward and back. And each time, inhale, exhale, try and sink a little deeper. Keep that chest up tall. Breathing. Awesome. On the way back, on the next time, we're going to straighten that leg completely and put our head down. Look up and then rock forward. We're just going to keep repeating. Down, up, forward. So interesting when you lift your head up a little bit, you really feel like a nice stretch in the back of the leg. A few more seconds left here. Awesome. Let's take those hands to the inside of the leg again. Bring the back leg up straight. We're going to swap sides. Feel free to be three to step or hop. So we're going to pop it over. <laughs> All right. Hold it here. Again, if it's available to you, drop to your elbows. If not, stay on your hands. It's either is perfectly fine. You're picking what works well for your body today. Let's circle to the right. circle to the other side. Oof. <laughs> this side. Awesome. Let's come up to those hands. Drop the back knee down again. Chest up tall. Remember, turn that front leg out slightly. Rock forward and back each time. Inhale. Exhale. Try and sink a little deeper. Just kind of breathe. This next one, we'll do it just completely straight leg, turn the ceiling nose down, look up, rock it forward. Oof. And if you're at home right now making the sound effects, it'll be just like, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. <laughs> That's okay. That's me feeling all the spots that I didn't realize are so tight from sitting and working. I've been working on the computer a lot lately. Awesome. One more here. Awesome. Bring the hands to the inside of the leg. Drive the back leg up. Again, we're going to hop it back into a plank. Hold for a second here. Breathe. Okay. And we're going to drop down to the knees. <laughs> no planking yet. We're not, we're not getting there yet. Tuck the toes under. Okay. Hands out in front of you a little bit more. You're going to take your butt and sink it back to the heels. Take it back, and if you can keep the toes tucked under, like I have for some people, you either feel a crazy stretch in your toes. Okay, so you know if you start to feel comfortable at all, you can tuck them under. Okay, sink forward and back. Just breathe. And we're gonna take the right leg out to the side, toes to the ceiling, and you're gonna do the same rock, forward and back. So now you're gonna feel that stretch in the inside of that leg. And when you get to the back, we're going to give a little wave with our foot. So a little wiggle. 
wiggle it. Good, keep going. A few more seconds here. Two. And switch to the other side, toes to the ceiling. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see this way too. Toes up, rock it back. Do a few just regular first, and then once you get comfortable, then you can add that little wiggle. Wiggle. <laughs> little wave. Okay, keep rocking here. Shake it out. A few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome, we're gonna go back to that center position here. Okay, push evenly into your hands. We're just gonna do a few hip circles here before we hop into our first core workout. So you're gonna lift your leg up, circle it around. Slow and controlled, knowing that it doesn't matter how high you go. We're just gonna do a few here, nothing crazy. And then we're gonna go to the other side. So I'm going to switch to the other side, lifting it up. Controlled with those movements, breathing. Awesome. We're going to drop that foot down in three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. So we got some mobility in for those hips. Why that is so important before you just hop into any kind of core movements is because a lot of times our hips are really tight and then what will happen is your hip flexors will actually take over your core workout. You actually won't actually target it in the right places. So we want to make sure that you do feel it in the right places, right? And that you are strengthening that your core and they aren't taking over. So that's a, that's a great way to start off before you do it. So we're going to go through three different movements. They are very simple. They're not crazy, but they're very, very important. Okay. Um, we're going to go through the dead bug, heel taps, and a hollow hold, okay? So three different moves we're going to go through, okay? We are going to do 30 seconds of each move, and then we are going to do it three times, but each time we do it, we're going to make it a little bit more, a little bit more difficult. So we're going to add a little extra each time, okay? So let's go through, um, we'll actually go through the movements together to make it a, go through this a little bit faster, um, and again, I'll show you as they improve, I mean, as we, as they improve, as we change it up a little bit. I'm just going to grab my timer and put it up on here. Remember with these movements, um, since we're doing them for 30 seconds a piece, it's not about how many you can do in these 30 seconds. It's about the control you can have and that you can actually feel it in the right area. So I want to say it right now before it starts for anybody, slow down, <laughs> slow down with all the movements you're doing. You're going to feel it way more, especially um, with your core. So let me turn these comments off. We're going to drop down to our back. Doo -doo. We're going to start with the classic dead buggy. Okay, so we're going to lay onto our back. Okay, hand underneath your back. You're going to inhale, exhale, push the low back to the ground. Just do a few of those real quick. Inhale, exhale, push the low back to the ground. Inhale, I have my hand underneath there. Do that real quick so you can actually feel it. Inhale. Exhale, push the low back to the ground. Hands on your knees, knees on your hands. Notice how my elbows are completely straight, okay? We're doing this together. Your head is on the floor. We're gonna inhale, exhale, extend the same arm, the same leg out while maintaining that core and then switch to the other side. So we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. And like I said, I don't want you to go fast. Slow it down. Keep the back pressed to the ground. Your core should be shaking. Mine's shaking right now. I'm pushing so hard. Oh. And breathe. Keep the neck relaxed. Keep the elbows completely straight. Push into each other. We're going to switch into heel taps in three, two, and one. So stay here. Same thing. Push the low back to the ground. Your legs are going to be at 90 degrees. You're going to drop your heels as close as you can to the ground without losing this core push to the ground. So it may not be all the way, it might be just to there, right? 30 seconds here. 
if you're not feeling this in your core, you're not pushing your back to the ground enough. And that's what happens. A lot of people just do this. This is what I see all the time. None of that. None of that. Slow down. Slow and controlled. A few more seconds left here. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Come on out. We're going to go into a hollow hold for 30 seconds. Okay, so how we're going to do that. We're going to get into a ball. Do this with me right now. Get into a ball. Bring your feet up. Okay, wiggle them out. Hey, what's up? What's up with your feet? Right, take your hands out. Hands on your knees, knees on your hands. Push out until you're comfortable. Push, don't maybe it's to here. That's okay, maybe it's here. That's okay, keep pushing the low back towards the ground. You might be hitting the ground, but push it there. And we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. If you're shaking, that's completely normal. I like to tell people to shut their eyes, just zone out, just breathe. Ooh, breathe, breathe, breathe. A few more seconds here, this is shaking right now. This is activating that core right now. Three, two, and one. Awesome, first round done, two more rounds to go. We're gonna advance everything just a teeny bit each time, okay? So this next one, elbow to knee dead bug instead of a regular dead bug. So what that means is, okay, you're still pushing the low back to the ground. Do it so you're now, put your hands behind your, on, the, on your ears. You're gonna tap your elbows to your knees, knees to your elbows, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Extend it out. So now your elbow is pressing. We're doing 30 seconds here. 30 seconds. Keep going. So put this in a quote the other day, and this is gonna be just like what we talked about with these end goals that we have, right? Everyone always thinks that getting a six pack is going to make them happy. But the thing is right now, if you're not happy right now, when you get that six pack, believe it or not, you will probably feel the same way. I know. I know you're going to be like, no, that's not true. I know when I get one, I'm going to be happy. But I'm telling you from experience with those type of things, you need to enjoy the journey and the process. That's where the happiness is. It's not towards any end goal. Because once you get there, you're going to have something else that you're going to want to be, that's going to make you happy. Right? Two and one. Lay on your back. Push the low back to the ground. Instead of doing heel taps with just both legs, we're gonna do single leg taps, okay? For 30 full seconds, single leg taps. I know some of you are like, well, that's easy for you to say, like, but it's really the whole concept. It's not just the abs, right? It's everything. It's any kind of angle that you're trying to reach towards. You have to enjoy the process. Because once you finally make it to that goal, you're gonna realize that, oh man, I actually maybe I didn't enjoy that entire process. Maybe I didn't live my life. Maybe I didn't appreciate the people around me. I know, again, it sounds crazy, it sounds silly, but it's super true. Oof. A few more seconds here. It's that constant, I'll be happy when this happens. I'll be happy when that happens. Instead of being happy now, right? A few more seconds left here. Three, two, and one. Awesome, come on out. Next one we're gonna go into is the hollow hold again, except this time we're gonna add a little rock to it. So we're gonna add a rock forward and back. So get into a ball, hands on the knees, knees on the hands, push it out, and we're gonna rock here. Okay, my knees are bent right now, you can have them straight, okay, if you wanna add the difficulty. But if you bring them in, it's just as good. Just keep pushing that little back towards the ground. 30 seconds here, rocking. So little things to think about as wins, instead of the I'll, I'll be happy one, is showing up for yourself. Two and one. We don't celebrate that sometimes. We don't celebrate the fact that you're here right now taking this class. That's just, that's a celebration. That's that's a win. That's a win. You should be happy right now. Instead of thinking like, oh, maybe I should have showed up yesterday. Maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have that. It's okay. You showed up today, right? And you're here. Celebrate that. 
little ones. All right, one more time around. We're gonna change it up again. A little bit, a little bit different with each move like we were saying before. So we're gonna go back to the dead bug, obviously. This time we're gonna add a little twist to the foot. We're gonna go into leg lowers instead of heel taps. And then we're gonna do an abandoned shift. Okay, so let's go through the elbow to knee. Again, this time when you extend out, you see this foot, turn it in, and then bring it back out. It's very slight. Turn your foot in towards you, and then back out. 30 seconds here. Yes, keep going. Four seconds. Two and one. Okay, come on out. Next one, leg lowers, which we talked about the other day on women's health. I don't want you putting your hands behind your butt. Don't do this. No, this. Okay, take your hands out. Push the lower back to the ground. Just like you have those heel taps, you're only going to go down as far as you can go to keep your lower back to the ground. So it may not be a ton. That's okay. If you're not going all the way down right now today, that's okay. That's something you can work towards, but you want to actually make sure you're activating that core because if you're just going up and down, you're not actually activating the core at all, right? So down, bring it back up, push the low back to the ground. A few more seconds here. Two and one, come on up. Next one, abandon ships okay if the abandoned ships feel like they're a lot for you today feel free to just do the regular hollow rock so let's get into a ball extend out rock to the right rock to the left 30 seconds side to side <laughs> can barely speak while i'm doing this i'm really pushing four three Two and one. Oh, come on out. I'm gonna turn my comments on for a second. Whew. All right, core is on fire. Simple, slow, controlled movements, nothing crazy. But this is great stuff. Great stuff here that's really going to help you. Um, with not only getting the tight and tone core, right? But making sure you're actually moving your core properly. Okay, and that's really important that people forget to think about sometimes. All right, so next piece of this is we're gonna go into some upper body mobility and then we're gonna do another core sequence. Okay, a little bit different, um, but I wanted to start off with that ones that were feeling active and ready. Okay, sound good, thumbs up. All right, so let me turn these comments back off. All right, so come onto your knees. You're gonna inhale all the way up. Exhale, bring the elbows back and down. Try to open up the chest a bit. Inhale, way up. Exhale, bring the elbows back and down. One more time, other way up. Exhale, bring the shoulders back and down. We're gonna take the shoulders, we're gonna lift them up, back, down, forward. Up. Slow and controlled with the movement. Yes, few here. Awesome. Onto your hands, into your knees. Take your fingertips towards your body. We're going to stretch up the wrist a little bit. Rock it forward and back. Stretching up the forearm. So, yeah, start to think about those things, okay? Where are you at now? Where do you want to be? How do I get there? How can I enjoy the process as I'm getting there? Because towards the process of getting to your goal, there's gonna be these highs and lows. There's gonna be these ups and downs of things that happen, right? And what you don't realize is that those moments, the hard parts of it, that's the part you really gotta really enjoy. Because that's where you really learn. That's where you really grow. You really, you really grow while you're trying to get to a specific goal and things go wrong. <laughs> Okay, no, really, that's where you grow, that's where you learn. So celebrating that process 
enjoying it. The highs, the lows, the good, the bad, the ugly, all that stuff. Awesome. Let's flip your hands around, rock forward and back on those wrists here. I'm saying you get all this stuff from experience. <laughs> the times where I was trying to get towards my goal and I got completely, completely thrown down. I posted the other day about me tearing my ACL. I mean, that could have been, that could have been it. That could have been me giving up. And I took the time to really feel what I needed to feel, clap the hands together, roll around, to, to really feel what I needed to feel. Um, but I didn't get, my, get stuck there. Instead, I took it and I was like, how can I learn from this? How can I become better, right? It's not easy in the moment. In the moment, you're like, why me? What the heck? <laughs> Shake it out. All right, so we're gonna go to the next core piece here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a plank, so 30 second plank, and then after that, we're gonna do 10 of a bunch of different moves, okay? We're gonna do it together as a team, so don't worry, I'm just gonna walk you through it. And then towards the end of that, we're going to plank again. Okay, if you want to slow down time in life, and we say this a lot, check plank. It's going to feel like longer than it actually is. Okay, so while you're there, I want you to think about those goals. One goal, where, are you, where you're at now, where you want to be, and what's the in-between. Let's think about those things as we're down there. Okay, so let's get into your plank position. We're going to go into our elbows, shoulders directly over those elbows, feet a little wider if you want to. We're going to hold you for 30 seconds. While you're here, think about squeezing the glutes pushing through those elbows, holding. 30 seconds here. Oof, hold it, hold it, hold it. We're gonna stay here, and in five seconds, we're gonna rock forward and back 10 times. Let's do it together super slow, ready? One, two, three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, slow. Eight, nine, ten. Stay here. Stay here. Don't come out yet. We're going to rock our hips to one side. You don't want to touch the ground. Come back to the middle and rock to the other side ten times. That's already two, four, six, eight, ten. You're going to stay here. Stay on the side. I'm tilted to the side. So I'm to the middle, tilt to the side. Rock forward and back 10 times while tilted to the side. Come on, stay with me. Back to the middle, 10 on the other side. Twist it to the side, rock it forward and back. Back to the plank. You're gonna hold here, squeeze the glutes, breathe. We've got 30 seconds here as a team. Don't come down. Make your feet a little wider if you need to. Push through those elbows, squeeze the glutes. Shaking. In five, four, three, two, and drop. Oh my goodness. Come down and just stay here for a second. Snap it out. <laughs> Hands on each side, you're gonna inhale. Exhale, lift the chest up. Look to the left, look to the right. Drop it down, inhale. Exhale, look to the left, look to the right. All right, back down again. TP out your fingers, inhale, exhale. Come on up, drop one shoulder down to the center, drop the other shoulder down. Flat. Take the right arm, right leg, twist it over, hold. Oof, you feel the crack in your back. One of my favorites here. Back to the center, switch it to the other side. Back to the center, hands on each side, inhale, exhale. Lift up. Bring the toes up, rock it side to side. Push back to where we started. Toes under, reach back, hold. 
Then let's make our way onto our back. We're gonna finish off class with three deep breaths. We can do that every class. Hands on the belly. Inhale all the way in. Exhale it out. Inhale it in. Exhale it out. One more time, all the way in. All the way out. Take a moment here, breathe. Be proud of yourself for showing up. And come on out. Amazing work, team. I'm super proud of you. High fives. I know it was a little bit slower today. That's okay. We were able to really focus on the mobility, get our core nice and activated. These little things go a long way. It doesn't have to be this crazy, extensive, blah, <laughs> workout for you to get something out of it, for it to benefit from it. So I hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you enjoyed it, we actually are doing right now a seven day free trial of my Strong Feels Good program. I'm completely free, so like no obligations, you don't need to put a credit card down, nothing. Um, so seven days for free, so you can try it out. And what's super cool about it is that we break down everything for you, right? So it's a five day a week program. Um, you don't have to do all five days. You can break it down into three days instead. It feels like five is too much for you. We do class every Sunday. So with the free trial, I'll actually be able to hop in and try out a free class on Sunday. Um, we break it down into different um, muscle groups, right? So you have to start off with chest and, I think it's chest and triceps and then we go into hit and core, and you have a workout every single day that you can be a part of um, so that you know exactly what you're doing when you show up so you can really hit your goals. Um, we actually always start too with a strength test. So you'll start off with a strength test to evaluate where you are at now, and again, determine where you wanna be so you can stay consistent in between and really get there. So we'd love to have you be a part of that. Again, it's a seven day free trial, completely free, no obligation. We decided to make one that's like that so you can really test it out and see how the community is. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, feel free to message me. My handle's below, Angela underscore Gargano. Um, the link is also in my bio. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy class and I'm here every other week on women's health doing classes, all different types. Today was mobility and core, sometimes I do upper body. Sometimes I do um, legs. I mean, whatever you guys want to do, we, we, uh, we make it happen. So anyways, I'll see you all later. And I hope you have a great rest of your morning, night, or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, let me know how you like class.